Kathy Lee Gifford, the beloved host of the Today Show, has lived much of her life in the spotlight. But from dealing with her husband's unexpected death to a sweatshop scandal that nearly tanked her career, we're uncovering whether or not life for the star is just as bright and funny off camera. Soap Star Bomb a bright-eyed Kathy Lee was dying to work her way into Hollywood in 1976 when the 22-year-old made her soap opera debut on Days of Our Lives as Nurse Callahan. She won't eat. Oh, that's that girl. Cringing at the clip when she revisited it in 2015, Kathy Lee said, That is the worst acting no. I have ever seen. No, wait a second. Again, thank we, you, <laughs> Days of Our Lives, for putting we're, up with me. We're gonna Sweatshop Scandal on two different occasions, Kathy Lee has garnered terrible press for sweatshop-like conditions in her clothing line's factories. According to the New York Times, she was first targeted in 1996 when it was alleged that 13- and 14-year-old kids were making her clothes in Honduras. She talked about it with David Letterman, saying, Here I am taking my kids, trying to teach them to care about children less fortunate, and their mother's been called a sweatshop queen because she puts kids to work. She said at the time, My first reaction was, I don't need this. But they told me that I had a unique opportunity to make a difference by using what happened to me to stop the horrible practices of some of these manufacturers. So, she rededicated her efforts to combat sweatshops around the globe. But controversy struck once again in 1999. This time, Kathy Lee was accused of employing thousands of Salvadoran women under terrible conditions. She issued a statement saying, We will not allow that facility to continue manufacturing manufacturing goods bearing my name. The Regis Years For 15 years, Kathy Lee was Regis Philbin's co-host on Live with Regis and Kathy Lee, the popular morning show that made them household names. Kathy Lee made her exit in 2000, but she and Philbin have remained friends. Philbin told Closer in 2015 that he and Kathy Lee used to go on double dates with their spouses and hang out together on weekends in Greenwich, Connecticut. He says she's very funny, and she's a lot of fun. We had a great time. Taking on the tabloids Kathy Lee may have a thick skin when it comes to the gossip mill, but she put her foot down when the tabloids targeted her son, Cody. In 2000, the National Examiner published a story titled, Kathy Lee Wrecking Cody's Life, Pushy Moms Creating a Monster, reporting that Cody had thrown fits and wreaked general havoc around town. Kathy Lee accused the tabloid of libel for allegedly portraying her son as, quote, an impudent, unruly child who is unable to behave in a socially acceptable manner. The case was dismissed by a Palm Beach circuit judge in 2002, and details of the settlement were kept confidential. Life with Hoda Today fans may assume Kathy Lee and co-host Hoda Kotb have always been thick as thieves. But truth be told, these pals didn't gel right away. Kathy Lee revealed to E! News in 2017, We didn't have the chemistry for the first year. But the host said the two did have chemistry when they grabbed lunch together. Kathy Lee tipped off Hoda at the time, saying, You know, Hoda, if you could be the same person on camera as, as I, the, the, the girl that I had lunch with, yeah. we could have a good show. Kotb apparently took that advice to heart. You start sharing life and you start falling in love with the person. You become friends, too. Real, genuine yeah. friends. The Real Deal Despite more than 50 years in television and at least two decades on live morning TV, Kathy Lee doesn't think of herself as a journalist. She told People in 2016 that she respects journalists too much to take herself seriously, saying, What I do with Hoda cannot be called journalism. Let's be honest, we're just two people who have no idea what we're going to talk about, who just sit there and have fun. This is the best show in the world. Is it? Thank I you. love it. It's a friendly place. It's friendly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Giving back. If you think Kathy Lee sits around the fourth hour of today drinking wine and then goes home to drink more wine, you're mistaken. Gifford is a first-rate philanthropist who founded both the Cody Gifford House and Cassidy's Place to help children suffering from a variety of ailments and needs. She explained the origin of her work to Today back in 2011, saying, I'll never forget what really did it for me. I remember holding my first AIDS baby in one arm and my three-month-old son, Cody, in my other arm. The disparity and the injustice of my son being born healthy into prosperity and this other little baby was just born. That's all that it did. It didn't take intravenous drugs. It hadn't had unprotected sex. It was just born. That just really affected me. Remembering Frank 
Good morning, I'm Frank Gifford with Kathy Lee Johnson. In August 2015, Kathy Lee's husband of 29 years, Frank Gifford, unexpectedly died at age 84. Frank was a former NFL star who played for the New York Giants for 12 years, as well as an Emmy-winning sportscaster. In the days and months that followed his death, Kathy Lee reflected on her loss in an essay for The Hollywood Reporter, writing, I wasn't able to watch one football game this season. I just couldn't. Too soon. Frank loved the NFL. He said, Kathy, every dream I had came true because of the NFL. But the couple's marriage wasn't perfect. Around the 11th year, he reportedly cheated on her, triggering a dark period in their union. Kathy Lee told Closer they recovered from it, saying, Sometimes you run out of time to build trust again. I was grateful we could. I'm so grateful my children were young and didn't know. By the time they did, they realized how much their parents loved each other, and them, by sticking it out. She told E.T. at the time, And a very dear friend said to me, If you can't forgive your husband, forgive your children's father. Too many families break up over something that could be healed. Kathy Lee's mother passed away in September of 2017, and the openly spiritual host said on Today, Just like Frank, I believe she saw Jesus and Jesus <laughs> took her breath away, and it gives me great comfort. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.